Pioneer. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Today guys, we've got another awesome formation build for you guys here. Going to be showcasing it. And that, I've done a bit of change to gear. We are only running one damage dealer today, not two. So we've made a bit of changes there. And you will see some pretty interesting battle reports and results. So let's get into it, shall we? So this was the main formation that I was using. Um, usually I'd go in and show you the build and that, but I'm using another army for the next video already at the moment. So we'll go off this battle report to start off with. Um, so we versed R2-D2 here. We'll start by showing you all the gear. So we've got Thorin, as you can see, did 116,000 damage. Really, really nicely geared. So I've got full unit attack gear on him. Uh, 408 command. I like to use the commanding of the bold. The main one, though, is his Durin's bulk which is really really good it's going to buff these guys depth defenders a lot to a lot of damage um, and that's my build that i've gone with him as you can see 116,000 damage then even though my gandalf only has 250 command i use him as my tank because i want these other guys to be doing the damage and i don't want all the units to be taken away from them so then they don't do as much damage um, and you want to keep your damage dealer alive as much as possible so yeah, we're using three small units here because of this skill right here. But I also changed up a few things. I put Elrond in there because he gives the chance of another formation doing follow-up, which in this case helped Thorin a lot, doing 116,000 damage um, and using the sharpshooters there on him. So even 65,000 damage from Elrond, still very nice. And then uh, using King Aragorn at respect level four, um, do take count of how low some of my commanders are here. So respect level 4, got the full attack damage gear, 225 attack. I've gone with his R5 to increase the damage of my fellow formations, which is very nice. And then Strider, full out first because of the keen eye effect, because you're going to be bumping into a lot of gills. And then my few extra points here in um, Endural. And using the Dune tier because a lot of people use the Bow Knights. So I thought that would be nice. So I slapped them on and they're not bad at all. So yeah. Um, but yeah, take note. This is only Respect 4. Respect 5. Um, I do have Z1 Gandalf. So that's fair enough there. And then only Z7. So 3 under Respect Level 10. And like I have no relics for these guys. Only for Gandalf. So it's a very realistic... Um, good formation this and as you can see we went up against r2d2 here now he had some good commanders so you can see like we're not versing full slouches here this is really good gold gear respect level 13 respect 12 on his king aragorn with relic um as you can see relic there as well dane with full relic as well respect level 10 and gimli level 15 with relic so we're versing good armies here and as you can see we actually did win this even with a couple of lower levels, he had all 48s. So I got 245s and 242s. Um, and if we go into the breakdowns, which we've got the new breakdown page, it's pretty cool. You can see um, the overall damage of all the commanders, the damage received, um, and then healing. You got the commander damage, um, so it breaks down of how much damage the commander's done each, and then the damage the commander's received. So this is really cool. It's a lot easier to understand. So the soldiers, you can see, we did 110,000 soldier damage there with Thorin and 60,000 from Elrond. So really, really, really good there. Um, and you can see the damage taken by the units in that. So yeah, it's a pretty cool and you get to see all your skills, what are unlocked and everything in the battle. Another thing that you can see is if who was affected by madness and stuff like that and stun. Um, it's pretty cool. So as you can see, the stun and madness effects also show on the report, which is pretty awesome to see. And you can also see the new breakdown page, and you can go through and see which each individual commander done, which is pretty cool. But yeah, but the, um, the overall damage in that was uh, pretty good. So I actually don't know how to see the overall damage anymore, to be honest. If I go back into the report, that starts a video, that shares it. I don't know how to see the actual overall damage now. Like, does it calculate it up for you, like at the end here somewhere? No. So, I think all you get to see is just the breakdowns now. So, I don't get... You just have to tally up the amount of damage, like 100, 250,000 damage or something that we did there. Unless there's a way and, and you can check it, but I'm not 100% sure. Unless... Yeah, I don't see an option of how to see 
the breakdown of that now because we have the new breakdown page. But yeah, that's the first battle report, guys. I've got two reports here, guys. So all the gear and everything and units and that will stay the same for mine. Um, so we came up against a guild kid. This guy was n not as strong as the last guy, so we had a lot better report. But it um, it shows like yeah, he doesn't have the relics and that. So against a bit weaker, um, we did a lot better. So we won't go fully into the breakdowns there. You can see it was more even, but everyone did do like near a hundred thousand. So he did a lot of damage that time. And then I only had about 5,000 HP left and I got in a battle against this guy who has like a seal door, respect level 13, Gandalf the Grey at respect 10, um, Galadriel and a Aragorn. So not too bad of an army. We did pretty good there, as you can see. Um, like we got, like we were already very well damaged, but we did quite well there in that second runner up battle. Alright, the next one that we had here was against Darfa, guys, as you can see. Now, this is a quite an interesting battle. So, as you can see, we um, versed, like, the absolute, probably the, the, the full meta. Now, he only has a respect on Gil, but then his other commanders are really good with the relics and stuff like that. Like, see, look, you got to respect one Gil here, but it's still so good because of his evade um, and stuff like that. So, pretty solid. Um, as you can see, we did over more than half damage when he's got nearly all 50s i've got a lot lower levels um if you look at the breakdowns he didn't do as much damage that time of course because we've got gill in the army so he's got his evade but overall it was a pretty good battle um if you have looked at the breakdowns not as high unit damage and soldier damage as before because of um his evade but then his damage dealers is doing a lot of damage there as well like you got 240,000 damage worth there so that's why i got hit pretty hard all right, so the next one here we burst was Neo. So another really good solid one. As you can see, we've got a Z level 10 gill. So keep this in mind. Z10, very good gear. 708 command. And then we have a Z3 of Elrond there. And then we have a level 10 respect. And they all have the relics now pretty much. And a Gandalf at respect seven so very strong and as you can see um this was a pretty good result nonetheless with how strong that army was so i didn't do as much damage before really good guild and stuff like that a lot of evade um but overall a very good battle so i wanted to show you that one there guys um then we got into this battle here that i'll show you so we versed this guy here as spartaco so we had a pretty good battle here so another guild once again only respect the zero is so very low so um his respects are a bit lower but remember i've already got fours and fives the only really strong one is gandalf the white um but we did pretty good battle here as well um elrond doing some good damage there nearly eighty thousand, and doing a fair bit of damage here as well against the march wardens um were the dunes so yes yeah, seventy thousand damage there if you look at the breakdown um so if we go to king aragorn and that like they did twenty thousand damage there 50,000 from Thorin, 77,000. So, yeah, pretty decent um, in in that logic. And then I think I got one more battle in here somewhere. Um, so, yeah, like we versed this guy. He wasn't very strong. So, like, pretty weak. So, we did pretty good there. So, it was pretty average. And then the last one I think I got to show before, yeah, for today is this one, guys. We were already at 5,000 HP. We versed this guy. So another um, Gilgalad, uh, Galadriel. Like, more mediocre, weaker. But we were already pretty damaged. Um, like, but I got pretty good gear. You can see it was kind of even damage there from the damage dealer to the unit attacking damages. And yeah, overall, not a bad battle. But yeah, guys, as you can see, it's a pretty nice formation. It does pretty well, even at lower respect levels. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smack that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And peace out, EJ's out. And I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Just like this rhyme